Hey everyone, this is Eric Vasquez here with another episode of Teach Me to Design. And today what I want to do is show you guys a very useful and powerful feature in Photoshop called Layer Styles. So the first thing that we're going to do is just go and create a new document. It doesn't really matter what the dimensions are, you can set it up however you like. And the first thing that you want to do is go to the window menu up here and choose Styles. Now once you do that, you'll see by default you've got this list right here of some built-in Photoshop layer styles. Now you can kind of think of these as presets that you can apply to things like buttons or text and they really come in handy. So click down here to create a new layer and we are just going to add some type to our document. You can use any font you'd like. Um, for now I think I'll just go with something very simple like Arial Bold. Maybe increase the size a little bit and you'll notice um, that I actually have all this space in between each of these letters here. So um, that's referred to as the kerning, is the space in between the letters. And a quick way that you can fix that or adjust it is right here in Photoshop. You'll see you can kind of drag this left and right to either increase or decrease the kerning in between the letters. Another way you can do this is to hold down the Alt Option key on your keyboard and use the left and right arrows. So I think this is looking pretty good. So we're going to maybe make it a little bit bigger, like this, and then come back to our layer styles, or just styles, as shown here on the menu. And you can see that some of these, by default, aren't really that impressive. Um, but you'll get the idea in a second. And you'll know that you have a layer style applied to your layer um, indicated by this little FX icon right here. So double click on that and you'll see here that some of these boxes are checked off. These are just the things that you can customize and apply in your styles. Now for uh, the sake of this tutorial I've gone ahead and actually created some layer styles of my own. But before I show you guys that I just want to show you how you can quickly remove or copy or clear a layer style from your layer. Alright, we're going to come back up here and click this little arrow on the top right and go to Load Styles. Now, I just have this saved on my desktop, so I'm going to go ahead and load those and you'll see here that it's added a bunch of layer styles uh, to my file here. So now you can see what some of these look like. Maybe a gold, and I think this actually looks a little bit better um, with a bolder typeface, but we can actually modify these parameters to fit our text however we like. So double click it again to bring up the layer style dialog box and I think the first thing that we need to change is the stroke. This is basically the outline around our type. So for this you kinda want a lower setting I think looks looks better. Maybe something around three or four pixels um, but you'll also see here you have something called inner shadow which you can play around with and um, everything is going to update in real time so you can see you know off to the side how this is affecting your your type right here you know and you can check things on or off test them out change the blending modes which is also a nice feature as well as things like the opacity And if you click here you'll see that I have a gradient applied to it and then if you can click here to actually edit the the colors that I am using so if you wanted to change it, you know, it's easy as it's as easy as just coming in here and uh, picking some new colors. So once you're happy with it, just go ahead and click OK. And you'll see that you kind of have this nice gold effect. But what I want to do now is create another new layer and show you guys how this looks for something like a button. So come over here to your toolbar and click on the rounded rectangle tool. The shortcut for that is also U on the keyboard. And once you have that selected, you'll notice that there are some options up here, um, including the radius, which is basically how round uh, the corner is. So if you press U and maybe change that to something like 40 pixels instead of 10, you'll see you have a much more rounded looking object here, this shape. So we're going to keep that one. And this is actually kind of a, you know, like a standard button shape that you would see uh, for a website. So you can also use some layer styles for things like buttons, which is which is really great. That one's not too bad, you know, you might want to come in 
change a few things. Um, again, like the stroke, you can change it to you know inside, center. I definitely encourage you guys to play around with these. Now, if you want to make some layer styles of your own, say you just decide to you know change these effects or apply some new effects, and you're happy with it, and you don't want to you know you don't want to lose it. Um, there's a really you know simple way that you can just kind of save that and that's by clicking new style over here. Um, let's just call it something like blue button. You can check this box off as well. So once you've done that, you'll have the style saved right here by clicking on the top of the dialog box where it says styles, and you'll have this. Now this basically shows you, uh, you know, thumbnails, a preview of your entire uh, layer styles, everything that you have loaded up to this point. Before quitting, you know, make sure that you come over here to styles, click on this little gear, and then say save styles. And this is where you would say, you know, you could name it anything that you want, my custom layer styles, just as an example, and then hit OK. So the next time that you start Photoshop and you load up your layer styles, you come right back here to load. And then on your desktop, you'll see the ASL file, which is just the extension for layer styles. So hopefully this gives you guys an idea of the powerful uh, engine that is the layer styles. And one other thing to note here, you know, when you click this little arrow, you'll see all the things that are checked off. You can turn off the visibility of individual, um, you know, options or parameters here very quickly and easily to preview those things. Or just turn them all off by clicking this top eye icon right here. Um, and if you want to, again, hold down the control key and click on this little FX icon. You can say something like copy layer style, come to this layer, and paste layer style. So that'll apply it to any other object. All right, I'm just going to undo that real quick. And another thing that you can do is to hold down the Alt Option key and just drag that little FX icon onto your, your button or anything else that you want to apply it to. So that's basically a rundown of layer styles, how you can create your own and easily copy, paste, and clear them um, from anything from text to buttons to custom shapes. And then you can also save and load your own presets. Now Photoshop has a lot of other presets as well, things like gradients, shapes, um, you know, as, as well as brushes, which I can always cover in a later video. But for right now, I just wanted to show you guys how you can have some fun with um, this built-in engine here that comes in Photoshop. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and be sure to click on the, the link below in the comments section to download these custom presets and layer styles that I've demonstrated in this video. And be sure to sign up for our new YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you guys.